in the grass. His body was never found. No, but everybody assumed that he was dead. That's maybe so. What are you saying? He's either dead or he is. It's true in your world. You only see the living dead. But if you want answers from heaven, you must seek them as we do. Our world. interested in the end. Uh, this has Glenn Larry. Are you saying that he's one of the undead? He came to us from the sea. He is not of your world or ours. He is hung down. Tonight, we're both here. Please don't treat me like there's something wrong with me. Don't 
Jesus is trying to show me. And I will not listen to any more of these empty assurances. Now, someone came into this house. Someone went into my bedroom. They are deliberately trying to terrorize me. I don't know, maybe it's a warning or something, but, but what's next? When is this going to stop? When I'm dead? We're saving some men at the house tonight. Oh, you will help. I can't stay here without knowing she was in this house. Oh, she's safe in his This is the second time you've been out here. This is obviously not just a childish prank. I'm taking this very seriously. I want that dog back to the footprint. Everyone, we are taking this very seriously, Mr. McCandler. I promise you. Now, there are a few more questions I need to ask your wife. No, ask me. You see, my wife in no condition to answer them. Hmm. I think that Alice Brown and I should have hot dogs. Why? Instead of the stars, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't think you're getting my work done, right? Huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get one from there. We all get one? Yeah. You and me. Don't you think we'll be together that long? Long enough for some day? I was out, and I did tell you that you could use a hot tub anytime you want. Ah, you were just leaving us. Yeah, that's what I looked that way, yeah. Right. Well, I'm glad that I caught you, because <laughs> I've got some, uh, some arrangements and tapes and stuff that uh, I need you to take across town for me tomorrow, okay? Oh, when are the class? Uh, that's okay, we can work around it. Uh, why don't you come over in the morning and get the wagon, and then drop the stuff off, and then just keep it and take it to class, okay? You sure? Yeah, just make sure you head back by tomorrow night. Uh, Here's your address, and uh, the tapes and stuff are in the front hall, okay? Okay. All right, so I will bid you all a good night. Make sure that you turn off the tub and block the front gate on your way out. All right, we will. <coughs> I don't think he's hunting that. He always finds us in the hunt tub. <laughs> I don't think so. It's 10 o'clock at night. You can't expect us to work all the time, right? Sometimes I don't know what to do expect. You think of a couple cozy places. Well, we can go to Walmart. Yes? Yeah. Now, Betty, you Oh. Well, I'm going to get enough? Oh, I don't think of love as a spectator sport. Mm -hmm. I like to be part of the action. Mm. Come on, DJ. No more business tonight. Meredith, stop it. I want to get this moving now. Yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, I got a little job for you. Tomorrow. No, it's nothing, it's nothing tough. It's very, very simple. I want a little fender bender, okay? Um, no, I don't want anybody to get hurt. I just want it serious enough that, uh, that, uh, the cars can't be moved for a while, okay? And the cops have to make that report. All right? Yeah. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, listen, I'll tell you what. I'll, uh, I'll give you a call tomorrow and I'll let you know the details then, all right? Okay. What was that call all about? You and Dylan are going to have a little accident tomorrow. Mm hmm? Mm hmm. Mom. 
only to take a sedative. You need it. That's the place. The winter I need. I have to know what's going on. I know. And we're going to find out. Yeah, but when? I don't even feel safe in my own house anymore. No need for that. Mom, Dad's here. You don't know if you believe that that has anything to do with this case. Oh, I don't know what I believe. It's just not that everywhere I turn, I come back to the same place and it's all connected to Baxter. How? In what way? I don't know. I just feel like it's all related to Victor Markham in some way. I've begged Baxter over and over again to give up that case. He told me the truth about it, but he didn't listen. He just avoided it. I feel like there's some unfinished business in Colin Bay, something that would explain these, these hideous things that are happening. Mom, I watched Dad all night tonight throughout this terrible ordeal. And if there's one thing I don't doubt his love for you, he was as shocked and upset as you were tonight. I don't know anything anymore. I don't think you just let it go up there. How can I? I'm a somebody's frightening thing is when you when you can't trust the one person you love. Oh, I'm sure. Can we just take this one day at a time? One more moment, I'll break this down. Do you mean that Dad is starting to doubt? Can you starting to doubt Baxter? Thomas, there are moments when and I don't know who Baxter is anymore. The police and I went over the uh, every inch of the house again and found nothing. They are putting on a 24-hour guard. Sister, you need sleep. Why don't you go to bed and I'll sit up all night and just let like... No! No, I can't go back into that room. All right. Well, we'll stay down here. Well, I'm going to get you a sedative, and when I get back, I want you to take it. Chris, I'd give anything to get that back. But it did. I promise you, I'll protect you, and I will get to the bottom of this. Doctor, I really want to believe that you mean I'm about that. There's no way that you can protect me. But you can't because, because this all has something to do with you. Tell me I'm wrong, Baxter. I can't. Did you leave me alone?
money of the right. Are they hiding the same violent goals of the past behind more moderate issues? The story tonight on the CBS Evening News.